Hello, I'm Miss Andrea with Everett Public Library. Welcome to Toddler Storytime. This week, we have a very special week because we're going to celebrate Arbor Day in all of our story times. Arbor Day is an international holiday to celebrate trees, to teach us how to take care of trees and to know why they're so important for us. So before we start celebrating trees, let's sing Hello Friends, where we say hello to our friends because it's time to say hello. Are you ready? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello friends! Did you know that a tree can be a home to a bird? <gasps> this is a hummingbird, or it's supposed to look like a hummingbird. Can you flap your wings like a hummingbird? Now they flap really, really, really fast. Can you flap like a hummingbird? Oh, fantastic. He has a long beak because he likes to drink nectar. And there he goes. There he goes. A tree can also be a home for a bee. Can you buzz like a bee? Bzzz. Bees are wonderful because they give us honey and they also help us pollinate our flowers and our trees. Bye, bee. Bzzz. A tree can also be a home for a bat. Hello, bat. He likes to sleep while upside down, hanging in a tree sometimes. <laughs> Did you know that a bat can eat up to a thousand mosquitoes in an hour? And in one night, it can eat up to six to eight thousand mosquitoes. Oh yes, I would like the bats to live near me. Bye, bat. Did you know that a tree can be a good home for a monkey? Can you swing your arms like a monkey? <laughs> hmm. I wonder if a, if a tree would be a good home for me. <laughs> We're going to sing a song about a tree and what it needs. The tune is Skip to My Lou. And it goes like this. I'm a tree, I have four needs. I'm a tree, I have four needs. I'm a tree, I have four needs. Do you know what they are? All right, the first thing a tree needs is lots and lots of sun, yeah? I need lots and lots of sun. I need lots and lots of sun. I need lots and lots of sun to grow big and strong. Oh, fantastic. That's the first of the four needs. The second thing that a tree needs is it needs water now and then. I need water now and then. I need water now and then. I need water now and then to grow big and strong. Can you show me your muscles when you grow big and strong? Oh, wonderful. Look at those muscles. <laughs> All right, so it needs sun and it needs water. Another thing that it needs is air, just like we need air to breathe. It says, I need air just like you. I need air just like you. I need air just like you. Are you ready? To grow big and strong. Fantastic. So a tree needs sun, water, air, What's the fourth thing a tree needs? It needs soil so its roots can grow down and it can pull nutrients out of the ground to feed the tree. Yeah? So it says, I need soil for my roots. I need soil for my roots. I need soil for my roots to grow big and strong. Yay! <laughs> Wow, trees are so amazing. They can be homes for all those different animals and they have some very simple needs. I'm gonna share a book because of an acorn. And I'm gonna use my document camera so that you can see all the beautiful pictures. Here we go. Because of an Acorn by Lola and Adam Schaefer. Illustrated by Fran Preston Gannon. Because of an acorn. Thank you Chronicle Books 
for allowing us to read this today. Because of an acorn, a tree grows, a bird nests, a seed becomes a flower. This enchanting book effortlessly illustrates the vital connection between the layers of an ecosystem. Wander down the forest path to learn how every tree, flower, plant, and animal is connected in spiraling circles of life. An acorn is just the beginning. Because of an acorn, a tree. Because of a tree, a bird. Because of a bird, a seed. Because of a seed, a flower. Because of a flower, A fruit. Because of a fruit, a chipmunk. Because of a chipmunk, a snake. Because of a snake, a hawk. Because of a hawk, clunk. An acorn. Because of an acorn, a forest. because of an acorn. Wow, what a beautiful, what a beautiful book. And all because of an acorn. It helps all those animals in that ecosystem grow. It's pretty amazing. Wow. So now I'm gonna play with the scarf. And you can play along too, if you have a scarf at home. But it doesn't have to be a scarf. It could be a tissue or it could be a pillowcase. It could even be a small hand towel, yeah? So if you have a scarf, we're gonna play with it. So we're gonna have one bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. <laughs> toss it high, can you toss it up high? Wow, and catch it. Or oh, let's try it again. Ready? Toss it up nice and high. Fantastic. And can you wave it down low? Low, low. Can you wave it way down low? Mine is so low you can't see it down here. <laughs> can you shake it really fast? Shake it fast. Faster. Faster, faster, faster. Can you shake it really, really slow? Yeah, nice and slow. Hey, where did you go? There you are. <laughs> peek a boo, peek a boo. I see you, I see you. I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes. Peek a boo, I see you. Thank you so much for coming and playing today. We've had all sorts of fun with different animals that live in trees, but I forgot we have one more game to play. Here I have four trees in four different colors. Can you tell me what color they are? The top one is a yellow tree. Yes. And what color are the leaves in this tree? Did you say orange? You're right. Now how about this one? 
The leaves in that tree are red. Oh, very good. And the very bottom tree, what are the color, what color are its leaves? Green, right. Now, when you're walking outside, you might see lots of green trees right now because they're really starting to grow and bloom. And sometimes you'll see the flowers, but we won't see most of these other colors until fall. So we're going to play a game. And behind one of these trees is a little birdie. And so we're going to say, little birdie, little birdie, are you behind the tree? And then we'll see if the tree is there. If we'll see if the bird is behind the tree. Okay, which one should we pick first? I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, you're right. I can't really hear you. <laughs> so let's sing, little bird, little bird, are you behind the red tree? Will you say those words with me? Here we go. Little bird, little bird, are you behind the red tree? Should we look? Oh, no bird. Oh, okay, what color should we look behind next? Let's try the yellow one at the very top. Will you say the words with me? Here we go. Little bird, little bird, are you behind the yellow tree? Here we go. Nope, no bird. We have the orange tree and the green tree. Should we try the orange tree? Okay. Little bird, little bird, are you behind the orange tree? Here we go. Oh no, there's no bird. I hope we have a bird here. Which tree should we look at behind next? The green tree, okay. Little bird, little bird, are you behind the green tree? Yay, we found the blue bird. <laughs> Thank you for playing that song with me. When I wave, good wave goodbye, I wave goodbye like this. Sometimes I wave with my other hand. I always clap my hands for all my friends. And sometimes if you want to be really cute, you can wave with both hands. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Will you sing that with me one more time? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you for joining me today, friends. And please, if you have a chance, go out and plant a tree. And if you can't plant a tree, I hope you can find a tree to give a nice big hug. All right. Bye, friends. We'll see you next time.